Since tubes are ideal containers for stackable chips. To make these tubes, big rolls of plain brown paper and foil-backed paper unwind. The foil will help keep the chips fresh. The streams of paper travel across rollers that coat them with glue. The paper layers twist around a mandrel that's turned by a big belt. The belt also presses the glued layers together. Next, the label paper gets a coat of glue. This helps it stick to the paper on the mandrel. A camera photographs the white edging on the label paper, then relays its location to a set of circular knives. They make a precise cut below the white edging. After each cut, the carriage moves the knives into position for the next one, cued by the camera. These paper and foil tubes head into a turning station. It's a box with a pathway inside that turns the tubes right side up. Hot metal heads curl the tops to allow lids to fit on. A roller pulls foil-backed paper into a cutter that punches out the lid shapes. Little vacuums take the lids to the tubes and heat seal them on. Plastic lids go over the paper ones. The lidded tubes are now turned upside down. They're ready to be stacked with chips. To make stackable chips, they use a ratio of one-third water to two-thirds potato flakes with a little cornstarch mixed in. A conveyor delivers the mix to an auger which disperses it. Then it falls between rollers. Using four tons of pressure, they roll the mix into one long potato sheet. The potato sheet goes under a rotary cutter that punches out oval shapes. A device pulls away the scrap dough leaving flat, uncooked chips. This scrap potato dough goes back into the chip making operation, while the potato chips head into a fryer. As they travel through the fryer, rolling molds make them concave. The concave shape will make the chips stackable. Chips spend 11 seconds frying in hot oil. This makes them crispy. They travel under blowers to get rid of excess oil. The chips get a coat of seasoning, then do a backflip off one conveyor and onto another, falling into neat piles. A worker inspects the rows of chips. Then it's on to another conveyor that shakes them up to loosen the pack. They travel over scales to portion them out for packaging. Automated spoons shove the chips into the open ends of the tubes. Guides tap the tops of the tubes to nudge the chips into position. Grippers then lower the stacked tubes to a station where spinning heads force metal bottoms onto them. Now they're ready for shipping. It takes about 20 minutes to make a tube of stackable chips. Soon it will be empty and someone will be full.